them get zest, etc., to achieve his or her dream. Various career options open up after having cleared nationwide entrance examinations like NET, GET, ZEN, etc. These examinations not only help in getting admission to top institution of India for higher studies, they also open up very, this webinar would be very fruitful and helpful for the students, particularly the students of chemistry in near future. With these few words, I conclude my speech and I wish the webinar a grand success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Dr. Anujuti Gogoi, for, for presenting this welcome note. Next, we have with us Dr. Professor Ruli Bora, head of the department, Department of Chemical Sciences, Tesco University. We have invited Madam Bora to speak few words as inaugural speech in this webinar. Now it's over to Madam Ruli Bora. Thank you. Excuse me, take it or mute who is a Hello. Madam Ruli. Hello. Oh, yes. Yeah. You please kindly yeah. pause it. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes. Yeah. We are listening. So, it gives me a pleasure to attend the web seminar uh, on strategic approaches towards Zen, NET, Gain in chemistry organized by the Department of Chemistry, Emergency College. So, on at this moment, I express my gratitude to the organizing committee for uh, association with us for academic support. So, this seminar is really informative uh, for students who are studying in BSc level uh, in uh, science. So the three, uh, that is national level examinations are very competitive and uh, to qualify this examination, students require a lot of hard work, dedication, and most importantly, consistent effort. So before completion of their graduation, they should start preparing for this examination along with their curriculum activities. By appearing this examination, students can evaluate themselves uh, how much they have learned in their subject. Uh, it helps students uh, in developing their own personality as well as confidence. 
which is very important to succeed in life. So out of this three examination, I think most of the students know that frozen exam students can take admission in MSc or integrated MSc PhD program in various reputed institutes like IITs, Iser, Niger, ISC Bangalore, and uh, the and Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research and many other reputed institutes of India. Through GATE exam, uh, students can take admission in MTech or PhD program in uh, the above mentioned institute and other national research institute of India. The last one, that is the combined CSR UGC national LLG test is conducted uh, two times in a year after completion of master degree. Through this examination, student can qualify itself to apply for a post of uh, that is uh, assistant professorship or uh, that is both with JRA as well as assistant professorship position. So then amount of fellowship also very high. It uh, that is gives lots of financial support to the students to start their academic career and like that. So in, in our chemistry department in Tespur University, we have designed our syllabus based on the objective of this uh, competitive examination. Last uh, several years, our students are doing well in this examination. So last year, uh, from uh, our department, 13 students cleared uh, that is national eligibility test, that is NET, and 21 students qualified uh, group exam, and 10 students qualified in a uh, slate exam, which is also another eligibility test which is conducted by the Guwahati University for the North Eastern Region students uh, for the position of assistant professorship. I think uh, this uh, resource person will it is, discuss elaborately about the strategies approach to the preparation of this examination. Uh, I hope the success of this exam, uh, that is, uh, workshop will be fruitful if the participant students will qualify uh, this examination in near future. At last, I thank the organizing committee for giving this opportunity to deliver my inaugural address in this web seminar. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Dr. Ruli Bora, for your inaugural and uh, informative inaugural speech. Next, I would like to request uh, Assistant Professor of Chemistry Department, Dr. Manas Potim Borua, to lead the rest of the procedure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can you hear? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Now we are going to uh, start our first session of this webinar. Uh, in this session, we have Dr. Sanjeev Pran Mohanto, Assistant Professor of uh, Department of Chemical Sciences, Tesla University, as a resource person. Uh, he did his master's from Department of Chemistry, Gawant University, and PhD from School of Chemistry, University of Hyderabad. Uh, and his uh, research area is molecular engineering, uh, engineering and molecular recognition, supramolecular catalyst, pyrrole based um, optoelectronic materials, and near NIR absorbing dyes. So I would like to request uh, Mohanda sir to take the charge of the microphone. Mohanda sir? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. yes. I'm sharing my presentation first. Uh, is it visible? My presentation? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Namaskar. Uh, good morning. Uh, at first, I want to thank the uh, Department of uh, Chemistry, the Amazi College, for giving me uh, this opportunity to share my thoughts or share my experience towards uh, or share my teaching experience with respect to teaching of uh, 
in, in with respect to helping my student for qualifying exam net or get or this type of exams so before starting my presentation uh, first i want to give some highlight on the title of this webinar that is strategic approach actually in this title or in the title of this webinar it actually highlights two term one is strategy and next is qualify 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 that means strategy leads to motivation that means the one of the targets appearing jam net and get and next is performance such that they can qualify jam net and get with a good score so when <clears throat> talking on motivation i want to quote one line from <clears throat> simon oliver sinek's book which is uh, named as start with why in his books he says people are inspired by a sense of purpose that means people are inspired by the question why if that question or that sense of purpose can inspire that people then only they will go for how and what so in this golden triangle he has make a golden triangle and if you see the innermost circle is white that means if we want to inspire anybody for some task then first we have to start with why why you need to do this task say somebody asked me to do a task immediately what i ask why you need to do this task if i am satisfied with his answer then i will go for how and what am i audible hello am i audible yes sir yes sir okay. so first to inspire what we what i feel we need to tell students why you need to appear for gate net and gen or all this competitive examination so that's why i start my talk with why why you need to appear in this examination then only after that i'll go preparation Here, what I saw, so if you if you are doing 
say BSc in colleges, and if you want to do MSc, take the college. Doing MSc universities, what you need, you do, you have to follow the universities admission protocol. And in state universities, mostly it is based on cut off marks. And in central universities like Tejpur University, University of Hyderabad, you have to appear universities' own entrance examination. But if you want to go to some institutes funded by Ministry of Human Resource and Development, like Indian Institute of Technologies, we have around 20 Indian Institute of Technologies. Indian Institute of Science, JNCSR, say in ISERS or in National Institute of NITs, you need to appear for them or you need to qualify them. Now, similarly, for say after MSc, if you want to get job in public sector undertakings like say oil, gate, BHL, in that case, you need to appear one competitive exam that is called GATE. If you have a good score in GATE, say you rank is in within 100, in that case, you will have you, you will have a chance to get job in public se sector undertakings. And this is these are these are all are highly paid jobs. But after MSc, if you want to do PhD, in that case, you have to appear for net MK. If you have a qualified team, what is the benefit that you will get stipend for five years or for, for the whole PhD tenure? Now, if you have name, so in that case, what will happen? You can do PhD in any institute with your own fellowship. But if you have gave, in that case, what will happen? You can do PhD, but you will get fellowship on, only in Indian Institute of Technology. That means if you do PhD in IITs, in that case only, you will get fellowship if you have only gain. But if you have net RF, you will get fellowship wherever you do your PhD. It doesn't matter. You can do in university or you can do, say, in some CSR institute also. Everywhere you will get fellowship. And for getting academic jobs, as Madam Poor said, for lecturership or assistant professor job in say, universities or in colleges, you need to have qualified NET. So that is NET. NET and NET has two categories. One is NET lecturership and one is NET uh, JRF. For JRF means junior research fellowship. And if you qualify NET JRF, in that case, you will that MHRD, the Ministry of Human Resource Development, will fund, fund you PhD. That means they will give around 31,000 stipend for initial two years and 35,000 stipend for last three years of your PhD. Next, now I have explained why we need, need to qualify or why you need to appear this exam, JEM, GET, and NET. As I told, JEM is for postgraduate admission in institutes, GET is for postgraduate admission or MTech admission in IITs or getting fellowship in PhD when you do PhD in IITs and NET for getting fellowship as well as for uh, NET is an eligibility criteria for assistant professorship. So in the next please side, what uh, I'm going to discuss is actually what is these exams and what are the eligibility criteria for appearing these exams and what is, what is, what is the examination pattern and what is the question pattern. Am I audible? Organizer, can you yes, tell me? Yes, yes. Am I audible? Okay. Now, first, I'm going to discuss what is ZEM. As I mentioned, that ZEM gives you an eligibility to apply for admission is for admission in MSc in IITs or some other institution. And this GEM exam it is conducted by Indian Institute of Technologies and its eligibility criteria for getting admission through GEM is that you need to be get, you need to get 50 percent 55% of CGP in your bachelor degree. But remember here I mentioned that 
it will count all subsets including language that means overall aggregate should be 55% or ccpa will be around 5.5 out of 10 and jam score is valid only for one session and jam of uh, online application procedure starts around september every year september it will come and exam will be conducted on first week of february and declaration of result will be generally on march now if you qualify jam with good with good score good score in that case what will happen you can directly get into indian institute of technologies for these different programs say msc chemistry is offered by these institutes say join msc phd in chemistry it is offered by say iit dds mean iit bhubaneswar and iit kharagpur join msc phd in nuclear medicine it is offered by iit kharagpur msc phd 12 degree it is offered by iit bombay like this if you want to enroll in this program in this institute what you have to do you have to get a good gem gem score and if you have a good gem score you can directly get into get admission through gem admission process but if you want to do say integrated phd in chemical science in indian, indian institute of science or integrated phd in jncsm or msc or integrated phd in isc uh, sorry isers like bhopal pune or tirupati or in any nits what you have to do you have to qualify gem score because in this institute that short shortlisting for counseling or shortlisting for personal interview is done based on this gem score but here what you have to do to get admitted in this institute the candidate you have to apply separately so that in through the institute admission procedure next get me self graduate aptitude test for engineering jointly by indian institute of science along with seven iits seven iits means it will be it is iit bombay iit delhi iit guwahati iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit roorkee and iit madras on behalf of national coordination board for get and the eligibility criteria for appearing in graduate aptitude test is the student must be in the final year or he has to or his msc may have completed that means if a student is in msc third semester in that case he can be eligible to appear in get and the validity of get score it is valid only for 3 years from the date of announcement of the result if you cannot use this get get score card within this, the three years of announcement of result it will become invalid to get admission as well as to get fellowship because as i told that get score you need to take to, to get admission in iits as well as to get fellowship when you do, do phd in iits and get like them get online application process is also starts on september and the exam is generally held on first or second week of uh, second week of february and generally result is declared in march and for get and gem the chemistry code is basically cy this is all that i have discussed that why we need to appear for get and why we need this get score as i told if you want to enroll in phd or mtech program in indian institute of technologies you need get second if you want to get jobs in this public sector undertaking companies ongc say iocl oil you need to have a good get score that means your rank should be less than 100 in that case only there will be a chance to get job in this ps next nowadays the central government, government institutes direct research officer or senior research officer in snt through get, get, get score you can apply for this post only you have a good get score and as i just mentioned to get a job 
through gate, you need rank below 100. Next, I'm going to discuss a little bit about joint CSR UGC, National Eligible Test Net. This is this thing agency. And actually, this net examination, it, it will give you the eligibility for junior research fellowship, that is also known as, known as net JRF, and for lectureship or assistant professorship, that is AP. So if you have net JRF, you are entitled for getting fellowship when you do PhD. And also, you are also entitled for <coughs> or you are also eligible for applying a lectureship position or assistant, assistant professorship position in any university or colleges. And validity of JRF, that is the validity of junior research fellowship is two years. With effective from the date of issue of the JRF award data. Within these two years, if you can, if you are not able to use this award data, in that case, what will happen? You are not eligible to get fellowship from CSS or UGC. But you lecturership or this award or this LS certificate or assistant professor certificate is very lifelong. And age limit for junior research fellowship is around 28 years. But we have a five year relaxation for female and reservation category students and three years of relaxation for OBC students. And just now Madam mentioned, it, uh, the ZRF fellowship, research fellowship is for first two years, it is 31 and 21,000 per year, and for SRF along with 21,000 contingency per year. And this net examination is conducted twice in a year. Generally, it is Zoom and is December. Now, this year, due to this COVID-19 situ situation, this June exam has postponed to November. Now, next, I'm going to discuss about the exam pattern and market marking scheme for chemistry. I in them, we have total six equations, and all the questions, and the total marks, uh, sorry, total marks for Z is 100 marks, and the best test. And the for questions, it is called as section A, section B, and section C. Is basically multiple choice question. And in section A, 30 question from question number one, the mark is one. But for section number 11 to 30, the marks allotted against each question is two. But for section A, we have the marking. For one to 10, for each incorrect answer, they will deduct 0.33 marks, and for number 11 to 30, which is basically two mark question, there they will deduct 0.66 marks. So when you appear for Z, while attempting section A question, you have to be a little bit careful. To avoid these questions, if you are not very confident, in section B, section B is multiple select question. Multiple select questions means actually here you have more than two correct options, or sorry, more than one correct options. And section in the question paper, you will get total 10 number of questions from question number 31 to question number 40 is basically section B, multiple selected questions. And each question gets two months. So total marks for this exam is, uh, sorry, for this uh, section B type question is 20. And no negative marking, no negative marking for period questions. And section C is basically numerical answer type, which is also known as NAT. 
and two questions, page, 20 questions. So, so from question number 41 to 50, the marks per question will be one. And from question number 51 to 60, so marks per question will be two. And for like uh, section B questions, that means for like MCQ, no negative mark marking in numerical answer questions. So in section A, it will carry 20 marks, it will carry 20 marks, and section C, it will carry 30 marks. So total marks for J would be 100. So here I have given some examples of sex, uh, some example, examples of section B and section C. Say at all, section A means here, means each one of and among problems, one of the and based on the difficulty level, they will give them marks. Say here, for first question, they have allotted one marks. For the second question, they have allotted two marks. In section B, this is multiple sections. The, the question is the unit of the constant, and the constant A. Marks for the unit of the constant. Here, four options. Among these four options, two options are correct. Say, for question, for question number A and B are correct. So you choose both correct options. Then only you will get mark. If you choose one correct option, then you are not going to get the marks. Next, this is important. The constant little bit. This is numerical answer type questions. You have not any options. You have to write your in this blank space. And these are as I as name indicates, these are mostly numerical questions. Now here. Within parentheses, they will put up to what decimal you need to keep your answers. If they are one decimal, then you have to keep your answer up to one decimal. If they ask you to round up up to two decimal, then you, you, you have to keep up to two decimal. If say here they have asked to keep your answer up to two decimal, say they have asked you to keep your answer two decimal, but you keep up to one decimal. Remember, this is a complex stage. So that evaluation process will be by computer. That computer knows that your answer should be up to two decimal. Your answer may be correct, but since they have asked for two and you have kept up to one decimal, what will happen? That the computer will assume it as a wrong answer. Since the, you, you have not kept the second decimal decimal. So, what this numerical should always this information. It will be always written in parentheses like this. I'm going to give a little uh, an overview of the of marks for IITism in last few years. Say here, in last year, the total number of application applicant is 16,687. For unreserved category, out of 60, the qualifying score is, sorry, out of 100, the qualifying score is 16.96. But remember one thing, only quali qualifying exam does not guarantee you that you will get position in an institute. In the minimum qualified out of hundred. And if you want to get a MSc admission in good IITs, your room your rank should be within five hundred. That means your score scores would be greater than 45. You chance to get admission in IITs. Because as I told, we have 20 IITs, we have around 500 MSc seats. For those seats, you need to score more than 45. Okay. 
and if you want to if you want to get or study in good iits or top 7 iits in that case you need to score more than 60 i'll discuss something on exam pattern on get and it will be exam pattern and question pattern of get get in get we have total number of questions 65 and like exam all the questions are compulsory but in get exams you have 15% questions are on general aptitude or general science questions or reasoning type questions and other 85% is subject based and time duration of this exam is 3 hour and the mode of examination is competitive based test more, nowadays most of the this competitive examinations are computer based but in gate we have only two types of question pattern type one is multiple choice questions and type two is numerical answer type so similar to them in mcq you have negative negative one. for one one third of the mark will be deducted and for two mark two third of the marks will be deducted but there will be no negative marking in numerical answer type question but here also while attempting numerical answer type questions you have to always check this the sentence within parenthesis here it will be given actually up to what decimal place you need to keep your answer as i told the evaluation is computer based so you have to be precise while putting this decimal places you see the last few years uh, qualifying cut off marks of gate out of 100 for uh, say in 2020 20 the cut off marks for undeserved category is 26.7 but if you see the highest score it is around 70.33 so but remember one thing that qualifying get does not guarantee you that you will get admission in iits so or you will get a job in psc if you want to get a job in any public sector undertaking through get score your get score should be very high and your range should be in between 100 but qualifying get may uh, get will allow you to apply for the iit is for phd or mtech admission but it it will not guarantee you that you will get a admission because it is based on rank if your rank is good you will get if your rank is not good you may not get next i'll discuss a little bit about the exam pattern and marking scheme for uh, net exams in net we have 120 questions and all questions are not compulsory you have to attempt Only seventy-five numbers of questions, and total marks for net is two hundred, and duration is three hundred. And like exam and gate, this examination is also computer-based test. Now, in net, we have three types of questions, and it is segregated as part A, part B, and part C. Part A have general aptitude questions, and part B will have subjective questions. or uh, subject specific question and those are mcq part is, a is also basically mcq but part c this is also an mcq but here difficulty level will be higher that in part a every question we have two marks in part b we have two marks in part c we have four marks but in net uh, net exams for all questions you have negative marking say for part uh, a exam there are cancer Point five marks will be get deducted. That means you will have twenty five percent negative mark. So while attempting questions in net exams, you have to be little bit careful. Now, if you see the December statistics, two thousand nineteen December statistics of net exams, the total applicant for that exam is around fifty three thousand three hundred ninety, and from there almost 1000 numbers qualified for jr and 1000 numbers qualified for ls and in december 19 the cut off rate for 
ZRF is 110.5. That means you need to get around 50, or you need to score around 55% of marks. And for LS, it is 99.46. That means the LS, LS cutoff is 55%. Sorry, LS cutoff is around 50%. So from this, actually this cutoff, you can consider, you can see that these exams are highly competitive. So you, for that, to qualify these exams, this especially in it, you need to do lots of hard work. Hard work. Next, in the previous slide, so what I discussed, actually, why you need to appear for this for me to qualify these exams, what are these exams? Now, I'll, discuss, or I'll tell something about how we can get. See, say that for success, there is no shortcut. So if you want to get success in the exams, you have to work hard. And you have to start working from the beginning. From the, from the beginning of your, from the beginning of the problem. Say, you have, after high secondary, you, you get admitted in, in uh, say, you get admitted in BSc program. So if you want to create these exams, you have to start from the first day of class of the BSc program. From that, that's why I told that you need to start from the beginning and you have to read some standard textbooks. And you have to make a habit of solving textbook questions. If you will see some standard textbook, you will get lots of questions. Say, since I'm from physical chemistry background, so I generally follow physical chemistry, Atkins book, Levine book, and say later book. Now, if you see the Atkins book, after each chapter, you have lots of questions. And most of the questions are numerical types. And in between chapter also, within some box, there will be some questions. And you have to make a habit of solving those questions. Actually, if these exams, NAEP, whatever, NAEP, GET, or ZEN, all are based on problem-based questions. All questions are problem-based. Okay. So if you can understand this problem better in a better way, or then only you can see that you can get a easy route to solve the problems. And to get confidence in solving the problems, what you have to do, you have to solve the textbook question because these textbook questions are very good. So, in the second, what I told that make habit of solving the textbook question. Next, make habit of solving questions from different sources like university question papers, and we have some series question booklets. From those also, from those books also, you can, or from those sources also, you will get questions and try to solve those questions. Because stay in this competitive exam, exam most of the questions are MCQs, but our university exams questions are mostly subjective. Okay, when you solve these subjective type questions, it will help you in understanding the topic. That's why, and to get uh, confidence in solving these MCQs, what will happen? You need to understand the topic very well. And as I told, for understanding the topic, you need to solve the subjective type questions. And the, a very good source of subjective type questions are from university question booklets or, you know, or uh, university question papers. Say, if you check in Google, you will get all the question, previous question, uh, questions of Delhi universities, question papers, or BSc questions. So, if you so, actually, the Delhi university questions are, standards are very good. So, if you solve those question papers, it will help you to understand your topic or your subject in a better way. Next, Important thing is 
you, you need to make a habit of group study. Because you do group study, then only actually group study means actually when you do group study, that means what? It is a discussion based study. When you discuss only, then only your idea will be clear. So in your class, you can make a group and you can study for these exams. Now here, I will give the names of some good books, actually some books which I basically follow. For physical chemistry, I used to follow the Atkins books, as I told, in the, uh, or Levine books and physical chemistry by later books. And I asked my student to solve the numerical questions or questions given in these books. By solving this question, actually, they will get confidence. And when you have good confidence, that means your efficiency on in the exams will be high. If you are more efficient, then there will be better chance of scoring good marks. For organic chemistry, you can say Claydon books because most of the people are following Claydon books, and most of the questions came from Claydon's because most of the people are following. And for this book is also good. That is modern methods of organic synthesis by Perutters and the modern organic synthesis and introduction by Nance. For inorganic chemistry, actually, I prefer to I, or I ask my students to see this who is inorganic chemistry books and I and Stryver Atkins inorganic chemistry books and I ask them to solve the question from each chapter. Now, since uh, this webinar is based on the, the strategy for qualifying the GEM GATE and NET exams, so here <coughs> I put some strategy. So, uh, before uh, say, our students or most of the students appear for GATE and NET in the third semester. So up to third semester, most of the syllabus that is required for net and get, it is already covered. Because net and get syllabus generally covers both undergraduate syllabus course and postgraduate course. So almost 80% or 85% of the syllabus is covered till third MSc third semester. Okay, so before studying preparation, what you have to do? You have to under, understand your program syllabus, that means MSc or BSc syllabus, as well as you have to understand or you have to know that this competitive exam syllabus like GATE and NAPE. And try to cover, you have to try to cover all the syllabus. And once you have covered all the syllabus, in the, after that, you have to start collecting info, important information from different sources. Inform, into, important information regarding study materials, in, important information regarding old question papers, or important information regarding, say, uh, what I can say, uh, about exam pro procedures. On those things already I have discussed. Next, after collecting all this question paper, you need to understand the question pattern of that particular exam machines. Because that is very important. Already I have discussed the question paper patterns of these examinations. Because once you know the question patterns, then only you can make the strategy. Next, what you have to do, you have to choose the scoring topics where you can score, score more. And you have to, at the same time, you have to check or you have to shortlist the topics on which generic question setter gives more importance. And those, these informations you will get only when you check the previous old question paper or previous year's question paper. After getting the question papers or this homework, what you, gonna, you need to start 
solving all question paper because solving question paper may only give you confidence and as i told if you are confident enough in that case only you will be efficient enough to get good score next as i always say say to my student you need to do some group study or group discussion next what you can do you can appear for some mock test and now i'll discuss how to do this mock test by yourself next what when before uh, before 15 days of this exam what will happen? you what you need you need to start revision revision of the syllabus and you will do repeated revisions now as i told before uh, one of the most important strategy of preparation is to understand the syllabus and to know the weight weightage of each topic with respect to marks so here i have give uh, compare the topic wise mark distribution of net 2018 june and 2019 june. sorry net 2018 june december 2018 and june 2019 question paper if you see the topic wise distribution for in chemical kind of thermodynamics in june 2018 they have allotted 10 marks but in december 2018 they have allotted 16 and in december 30 sorry december 2019 they have allotted 30 marks and say in quantum chemistry it is for 18 26 18 20 see that means the question setter has given a very high weightage in these topics so while preparing you need to concentrate in these topics say in chemical kinetics 40 in 2018 they have allotted 40 2000 december 2018 they have allotted 12 and december june 2018 they have allotted 10 so this question setter has given very high weightage to these topics and these top topics in physical chemistry these topics are highly scoring so if you take this some old question paper you, will, you can easily score these questions say in spectroscopy if you see here also they have given a very high weightage 10 14 10 so it is almost out of say, say it is 20 uh, 20 marks so from physical chemistry it uh, around say total marks will be 70 so in the 70 marks 10 marks came from spectroscopy 26 marks came from quantum and from group theory see it is 14 marks and here you can score a lot and in this strategy itself i told i asked him to collect some important information and resources here in in google or in internet you will get some google drive where some of the bit this all the study material for this qualifying exam so today i have got this google drive link if you see here i have put some snaps of of the books available in the group drive, google drive if you see here this is csr using net jrf solve papers see all these materials are available in this google drive so you will get lots of this type of links in google and from this link you can get all the study materials say here see here they have put some handwritten notes also so you can collect this Uh, you can collect all those study materials and these are very good study materials and here see in this link lots of books are also also available so you can search in google and you will get some this type of link from those links you can download all the study materials of them. no need to go for this coaching centers you will get all those information all the study materials in this link itself so that's why you need to search in google and you can collect all those information from google 
and as i told the best way to crack this exam is repeatedly solve all question papers and the master sir so how to get uh, de, uh, how to uh, study without demotivated no those things i discussed just let me complete are you here hello hi yes, sir uh, i i'll i'll take okay sir so as i told the main strategy is to solve all question paper and try to solve as much as question as possible it may be from any source as i told it may be some textbook question it may be from you can buy this song series booklets there also you will get uh, lots of questions say if you take the song series physical chemistry book there you will get almost 3000 questions and lots of question books are, uh, are available in google so try to solve as much as questions as possible and as i told it will give you confidence and confidence will give you efficiency because you have to be highly efficient for that particular exam time duration so that's why here i wrote that performance is directly proportional to efficiency and efficiency you will get from confidence and confidence you will get from repeatedly solving all question papers next i told before exam what you do you have to appear for some mock test because mock test will tell you how efficient you are and you can conduct your mock test by yourself with the help of google form in google classroom so here just now uh, i have shown a snapshot of a mock test in google classroom because here you can choose your question type if you want a multiple choice question you can choose multiple choice and that answer you can put like this and if you want to set a numerical type then here you just choose numerical type and you can prepare your question say you prepare your question today and you give your mock test after one month okay for this mock test you don't need to get help from anybody you can prepare your question one day and after some days you can appear in the mock test then remember one thing that while appearing the mock test you fix the time because in net you have to your question will be max uh, your, your question to be attempted will be 75 and that the 75 number of questions you have to attempt within 3 hours so in the google form you can fix all those things so with the help of google form you can do your mock test by yourself no need to take help from anybody hello Next. sir ha huh. just let me finish after that we'll discuss Next, as I told, you need to do group study. Make a group among your fellow students and st study from the beginning of your semester itself. Because group study will help you in understanding your topic in a better way. And here in this course, I always say my students say here. we have two words illness and wellness if you replace i with we it become wellness okay so i means me and we means us so if you just convert from me to us it will give you the benefit and by this i want to conclude my talk and now i will appreciate any question from you sir Uh, okay thank hello i'm audible yeah 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 okay so thank you dr sanjeev mahanta mok sir for your talk for showing ways to our students so i'm neha i'll be your host for the remaining session so thank you for the valuable suggestion to the students now we have some questions from our student okay so the first question is so name of the participant is not mentioned but the question is is can you write write a question can you write the question in chatting mode uh its questions are there 
I'm repeating the question. Okay, so Alanda. is is dropping an ear for gem worth it? That means giving a break, an ear break. See, the gem score is valid for one year, for one session only. Uh, no, the first, you uh, get admitted in 2020, you need the gem score of 2020. If you want to admitted in 2022, say you need to appear your gem in 2022. It is valid only for one session. Uh, sorry, Sanjeev, the question actually is that suppose the student is asking that suppose uh, a person did not get in gem in the first attempt, but he got suppose in some other university. So is it worth if he gives a break of one year and again prepare for gem rather than taking admission into some other university? Means, is it good to give a break for gem exam? I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think. But it, it is up to him. But okay. if you uh, really want to do his MSc in IIT or in some uh, institute like IIC or JNC, then he, they, he have to drop. But I don't think it's a good idea because in any way he can join those institutes after MSc also. Okay. Okay, thank you. So the next question is from Priyanka. Question is uh, that uh, our previous year question papers of uh, Tejpur University entrance exam for MSc available over internet? No, 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 no. It is not available. It's not available. So can you give? It some is given idea? in the prospect. Yeah. Question. Uh, question papers. Yeah, actually, what will happen? Yeah, it depends on actually for which course you need for say for integrated MSc. If you see that JW you need question paper, then it will be enough. For say MSc, you have to ch check that you can solve these same question papers because that uh, level is level will be same. That pattern will be same because they, those are mostly MCQs. We'll have sixty MCQs and you have to attend it within two hours. But here we don't have NTA, numerical type questions we don't have, and we, uh, there will be no negative marking. Okay, so the next question is from Saurabh, and his question is, uh, after getting a good score in rank, uh, I mean good score and rank in gate and net, is it sure to get a job? Uh, that I can't say, but there are possibility. If you don't get a good score, there is no possibility. If you have, if you have a good score, there is a possibility. That's all. It depends on the vacancy. Uh, yeah. So the but to get a job, you need a good score. If it is in within hundred in get, then only there is a chance to get in PSH. But getting a good score is not a difficult, not a great deal. Sorry, not a difficult task. Okay, so, so the, because people from Assam are getting, yeah. I have students whose uh, whose rank is below fifty in game, and they are working in oil now. Okay, so the next question is from Gauri Shankar Pukon, and his question is: uh, What are the approximate marks required to get uh, below uh, hundred rank in gate exam? It varies actually. In gate, uh, I think last year highest score is 73. That means you need to score more than 60 or 65. Then there is a chance. Okay. Because these are ready ready, no, in gate. But net to get a good rank, you need to score around 140, 150, something like that. Means to get a good rank within 100. What I feel. Okay. So we have one more question. So are there placement in oil and ONGC in this uh, department of chemistry from Tejpur University? Yeah, yeah. Every alternate years we have placement. Okay. Every alternate, not every year, but every alternate will became. Till then they are coming, but I don't know in future what we have. 
Okay, so here we end the our question and answer session. So one speaker, Thank one participant asked me about demotivation. For your like presentation. It. Can you take his question? Uh, Neha. Who's who? One participant asked me. Yes. One participant asked me some question. Okay, one minute. Take that question. He asked me about motivation kind of thing. Something. Can. Okay. Okay. Somebody asked me about one question. Uh, okay, I'm searching for it. I'm looking for the question. Uh, actually, I'm not able to find that question. So, whoever the participant is, can you unmute yourself and ask the question? Participants, can you hear me? Can if you have any question regarding to what Sanjeev sir has mentioned, you can please ask, unmute yourself and ask the question. Sorry, Sanjeev, that we are not. I'm not able to see the question. So, if there is any like we. Get, we will let you know. And I will share so, this Google link, uh, Google Drive you. link to you. And please share it to your participant. That Google Drive link just now I have shown yeah, here. Sure. You will get all the study materials that I will share. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So we will share the link of the presentation as well the st study materials to our participants. So thank you, Dr. Sanjeev Mohanta sir, for your presentation. So now our we'll move to our second session, and our speaker is uh, Miss Ishani Borthakur. She is a PhD student. So let me introduce her. She did her undergraduation from Jorhat Institute of Science and Technology, and then she did her masters from Dibrugarh University, and she also qualified CSIR UGC NET in 2017 with All India Rank 16. And she is currently a PhD student at IIT Kanpur under Dr. S. K. Kundu, and she is uh, working on organometallics and catalysis. So now I call upon Ms. Ishani Vorthakur to kindly share her strategies or suggestions to our participant to qualify the competitive exams in chemistry. Ishani, over to you. Thank you so much for the introduction. Can you see the slide? You can see. Yeah, it's okay. So thank you so much. And a very good morning to all of you present here. So, uh, oh, uh, I want to wish you all a very happy Raksha Bandhan also. And first of all, I would like to appreciate this initiative that the Department of Chemistry, the Magic College has taken. Uh, I believe this will be beneficial for you guys. And whatever I am going to show you today, that is completely based on my own experience. And it is, it doesn't like uh, you have to follow or imitate whatever I show you. Uh, I just hope that uh, you will get some idea and you can make your own strategy according to your schedule. Okay? Uh, uh, I think most of you already know about this type of examination that need get or gem. But why actually we are not able to clear need or get examination? So there is some problem uh, problems in our actually in our thinking and uh, our attitude. So I'll, I, first of all, I will let you know some of the problems and then we'll discuss how to solve those issues. Okay. Uh, so first thing is that we can, uh, what, when we think about NEET or GATE examination, what actually, uh, what generally comes to our mind? We become very serious, right? But whether this seriousness is for our betterment, actually, I don't know about the current scenario, but when I was in my MSc, 
we we had an excuse like our msc syllabus is not uh, net oriented and uh, we had to put some extra effort to clear this type of examination and uh, as we had uh, so many seminars and practicals exams so we didn't have enough time to prepare for net examination and that's why net was quite tough for us and we 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 couldn't uh, clear net examination so that was the first issue actually we never prepared for the exam and which we should be actually doing uh, we were serious but uh, regarding the surroundings like uh, we were we should be serious regarding the preparation for the exam and we we always ignored that thing and the second problem is uh, when we uh, generally goes to ex uh, this type of examination like NEET or gate exam uh, when we are in MSc, we generally first uh, first uh, we think that this time we'll uh, go for the exam just to get some uh, experience. Sorry, I didn't show you the video. So we just think that this time we'll get some experience and next time we'll prepare well for the exam. But actually, what happens? Uh, this Isaba Falkodim actually never comes. It happened with me also. And after getting two, three times of uh, experience in MSc, when you passed out, uh, that time, uh, NEET or GATE examination, it was, becomes like uh, a way of meeting your old friends, like a reunion type thing. Uh, generally, most of, most of the students put their centers in Guwahati so that they can uh, go to Shilong. And you can see here, actually, our seriousness was uh, in a wrong perspective and where actually at which point we should be serious that uh, that exam we, th we take that thing so much casually. So this is the second issue and the third one is that we make too much excuses and after exam uh, after the exam over we can see some kind of students and some of those are like uh, paper can easier easily and some students who find the paper tough, but they pretend like and they're always a kind of student and I also belong to this category and I was always like uh, and my parents were so supportive uh, so they were like just and these are some some of the uh, excuses actually we, we, we make uh, to cover our faults you know uh, don't make it personal actually uh, I, I personally believe that unless you you know or you realize your mistakes or problems you cannot re rectify those things, right? That's why I, I just share these things with you. So don't be offended. And uh, when the exam over, actually what happens, uh, whatever marks we get, that is maybe 40, 50 or 70. But the fact is that we are not able to clear the exam this time also, right? So let me tell you my story. Actually, when I was in my BSc, that time, due to some personal reason, I stopped thinking about doing PhD. Mm -hmm. And I thought that after MSc, I will get a job. And actually, I was told that uh, being the topper of my batch, I will get some job in oil or ONGC, which was obviously a misleading information I got to know about. But that was after third semester, when I got a job only in Sun Pharma, and there was no campus interview from oil and ONGC. I actually realized my mistake. Uh, but that was quite late. I was already in my fourth semester and I attempted it twice, but without success. So that period was quite depressing for me. As we all know that failure is always depressing and painful. I was not exceptional too. So at that moment, I had two options, right? I could uh, either give up and join some junior colleges or any other jobs and the uh, second option is that I could try hard. So what did I choose? Uh, I, I decided to go with the second option. 
and luckily at that time my best friend asked me whether i wanted to join her to delhi uh, for coaching classes mm -hmm. so i decided to go there and that was one of the best decision actually i i have ever made there i got an environment which is so much important for students and second one is that one of the best teachers and best classes and the third uh, one is that some idea and techniques how to deal with this type of examination actually but whether that coaching is the only options to clear net or gate examination obviously not uh, you might think that nije coaching coaching kori ahi ple clear kori se aru amaka he upadek dibole but actually i also thought like that way when manasta asked me to speak something in front of you but then i thought that mu khamai jodi kunba to tenike akoman hilo rasta dekhai dile hen etia hale sage moi mane tetiai sab thik kori lobo parilo hen so that's why today i am here uh, to share uh, some of the experiences uh, with you that actually i gathered from the discussion i had with the msc students from iit kanpur and from my own experience so for this i i will suggest you that you must target the next net examination it's not like that i will try after one year or like that so you you just you must uh, at uh, target the next net examination maybe that will be in, on november 2020 or that will be next year i don't know but you must target that one and you must think that that will be your last attempt last net examination okay then we'll start so as it is entropically favored that uh, we love to be in our comfort zone right we love to be in relaxed mood so generally what happens we think that aaj hi okman cinema ekhon ke sai lo ba okman khelia honge tar pore rakhte porhi ba eta okman de facebook to ke kori lo ase khomoy no tar pore porhi so for any type of achievement you just have to leave your comfort zone it's not like that you have to stop playing or stop uh, doing those things those are also important for your refreshment or uh, to uh, adjust in this um, time actually this generation those things are also important but you have you must have to leave your comfort zone okay then you have to plan for your future uh, if i consider you like you are already in bsc 6 semester or msc then you are already 20 plus right so this is the time that you have to plan for your future and i just want to make uh, one thing clear to you that if you are not interested uh, in doing phd or to go in this line that in the academic line then stop preparing for net examination uh, if you are doing so then you are just wasting your time uh, it's not like that you are your friend is preparing for net exam so you also have to do it's not like just focus your uh, focus to your own uh, goal and plan accordingly okay and the uh, third thing is that you have to dream for a goal and you must have to stay focused to it without uh, that focus you cannot do anything that just dreaming will not going to help you anyway okay and the last one is that you must have uh, self belief okay? you you must think that uh, i can do it tai parise tetale moi no kyo rim am sob ekei no so that belief should be in, uh, with you okay that self belief then uh, if i consider that you you already left your comfort zone then what will come next okay then uh, the second thing is that you you need a proper planning right uh, uh, since you were already in msc level so you you should have some plan for net examination or get examination but uh, it's not like if i if i will ask you that পানি ভর্তি হয়ে আছে এটা সিনটেক্স ধরা তোমাক সেটা মানে সফা করবলে দিছে সো তুমি সেটা খালি করবো লাগবে রাইট তার কারণে তোমার সব ঢের অপশন থাকিব পারে যে তুমি হয়তো এটা মাগ লই পলে পানি কিনে পেলাই আছা বা এটা বাকেট লই পলে পেলাইছা আর যদি তুমি অকমান স্মার্ট হয় বা কিবা এটা ভাবিছা তেতিয়া হলে তুমি ভাবিবা যে মই এটা কিবা আউটলেট আছে নি বা টেপ আছে নি চাও আর আছে যে খুলি দিও সেটা তোমার কষ্টটো বহুত কম হয় আর যদি তোমাক মানে প্লাস ফরকে লাগে বা কোনকালে লাগে তেতিয়া হলে তুমি আর পানিখিনি মানে টেপটো খুলে রাখা প্লাস বাকেটে দি পানিখিনি পেলাই রাখা তেতিয়াও তোমার কি হব তোমার এফোর্ট কম লাগিছে কিন্তু কামটো কোনকালে হবে সে রে সো আর প্ল্যানিং শুড বি লাইক দ্যাট ইটস নট লাইক আই আই উইল 
try this plan A. If it fails, then I will go to plan B. And again, if it fails, then I will go to plan C. Obviously, you need a backup plan, but it's not like that. I'll try from plan A to plan 1000 or 2000 plan. It shouldn't be like that. You should have a proper plan. Okay. Then, without working on your plan, you cannot do anything. Yeah, like if you were just sleeping or you are lying on your bed and you are just thinking that, okay, I'll study from tomorrow and I'll clear need this time. That will not go, in, uh, go to help you. You must have to work on your plan and that is the execution, right? Without execution, planning is just a mere dream. So execution is very much important. And that is actually that is the main thing for any type of, uh, to achieve any type of goal. That, uh, that is not necessarily the NATE or GATE examination. Execution is must, okay? Then comes the self-motivation. That is the most difficult uh, stage, you know? Um, after uh, one or two times uh, failure, most of the students actually goes under depression. So there will be persons like your family members or your teachers who will be like, poha, poha, clear there will be persons, right? But uh, that is not enough. You should be self-motivated. Uh, you, you should be determined to um, achieve actually what is your goal. You should be self-determined and you, you, sh you must have some confidence. Like you should be optimistic also. Actually, it is, it is obvious that but that is not the right thing. You should you should be always self motivated, and if you can go through the, all these three steps, then just a click away. You are just a click away from your goal. You can see, uh, it's this much easy. Now you can celebrate your achievements. Okay. So now we'll discuss how we'll plan for NEET or GATE examination. So. This is the, just a brief idea for a planning, uh, proper planning. Actually, uh, from my own experience, I am telling it shouldn't be like uh, you have to imitate these things. So, for any type of exam, the first things, uh, first thing you have to know is the exam pattern and the syllabus, right? So, uh, you you can see that like, uh, for your MSc exam. Yeah, the period is like six months and your syllabus is for only that period. But when it comes to NEET or GATE examination, uh, it covers a uh, two year MSc program or like three years BSc syllabus. So obviously it will be quite fast, but there's the, the, that doesn't mean that you have to cover the whole syllabus. You have to choose the topic smartly, like uh, which chapters um, will carry the maximum numbers of marks and at which you are good. And for the MSc students, actually, I, I suggest you that if you are in second semester, then first study those things which you already learned in your BSc level or in MSc first semester. So you, you first study those things, then you, you if you have enough time, then you can go to other topics. So that thing is also important. And then you have to do a lots of question. You have to practice a lots of question um, that may be from previous year question paper, that may be mock test. Or uh, there are many other um, sites like Facebook. Uh, you can see there are lots of groups and pages where you can find uh, a lots of questions. Like they post questions on daily basis. So you, your mentality should be like that. Whenever you uh, see any type of questions, you, you just uh, try to solve that question that is uh, that is also very much important that without practicing question you cannot do anything in NATO or gate examination and then uh, if you need any help then you should take guidance it's not always possible for your teacher to teach everything to you so you can go for online classes with your videos uh, after 2018 there are already uh, lots of channels youtube channels you can try those things. And here, uh, one point actually I, I prefer uh, that you should learn uh, science, mainly science in a language that you are comfortable in. So I am also, uh, I feel more comfortable in Hindi and uh, uh, SMS. So I prefer to learn things in th those two languages. So it's an, I, I, I don't think that it's a thing to be ashamed of. So it does, uh, it is not like your friend, 
friend is good, very good in English. So she is learning from a video where the tutor teach and teaches in uh, English. So that it, it, it is not like that. So you should uh, learn the uh, concept uh, in a language that you are comfortable, more comfortable, okay? Then one exciting and also interesting thing is group study and discussion. But for that you need a environment that is proper environment. Uh, actually, uh, at the, our time it was not uh, there. So, and then uh, revision is always must. Without revising, you cannot remember all those things. As we heard that chemistry is easy to learn and easy to forget, right? So after three days or after each week, you must revise all those things which you already studied. And for that, you can uh, use like flowcharts or diagrams or other tricks, which I'll let you know uh, in the later part. And the, again, one more important thing is the time management. And time management during your uh, preparation and in the exam hall also. So for preparation, uh, for the MSc student, I will suggest you to maintain a proper timetable, okay? And uh, actually, I also did that, did the mistake actually. For your MSc exam, it's not uh, like you have to study the whole six months. Whatever in your copy, the question will directly come from there. So you just need, uh, for the final exam, you just need a maximum of one month, right? And for your internal uh, exam, uh, just one week. So uh, I'll suggest you that after coming from your classes, from your university, you just utilize maximum time for preparation of NEET or GATE examination and not to your MSc exam. Actually, that is also important. You have to score more than 60%, but you just use your maximum time for preparation of NEET examination. And for the PhD student, uh, you just do a regular study, okay? Because uh, it's it's like um, after coming from your lab, you, you can feel like Aji bohut dey. Mane labote thakilo bohut kam hise. Aji do hanta to kailo milai pohilam. Kailo sai hanta pohilam. But actually, that is not good. Any ko hoy zaba zate mane pasar sab bostu par paila pohu ko gorte ki paar lastar egal man hoy zaba har hek man mane pohar man hoy zaba. Kya lagi bohu? Ebar bola ro haba kya kaho? So you should um, maintain a regular study and the. Also, one more important thing is actually who, which is um, most of the people actually ignore this one, but that is that you don't take stress, okay? Uh, take break during study, like after one hour, you take break for half an hour or five minutes. That will uh, uh, like help you to, uh, actually what happens when you read for a continuous time, your brain gets saturated, right? So, uh, for that, you should take a break uh, during study and take enough sleep. At least not like because I love sleeping. That's why I'm suggesting you. It's not like that. Uh, to for your brain to work properly, you just uh, need enough sleep, like uh, six to seven hours, maybe. Uh, it is also scientifically proven. So you just take enough sleep and don't take stress. Then. Let's come to the exam pattern. Actually, you know the exam pattern, but I am showing you for, uh, in a different context. So here you can see there are 120 questions, out of which 20 questions from part A, that is the general aptitude, 40 questions from part B, and 60 questions from part C, right? And out of 120 questions, you just have to attempt 75 questions. And there are uh, a negative marking of 25% uh, for each wrong answer. So if you are at a stage like you are already crossing 90, 90 marks or 100 marks, then you must not attempt any question if you are not sure. Okay? If you are under 50, 60, then you can do anything. That doesn't matter. But if you already crossed 100, then never attempt any question if you are not sure. And then comes to us, uh, setting up a target. Actually, when I was in my fifth standard, one of my teacher actually she told me that jodi he mane 100 or kane target kara tetia he mane 90 paba jodi 90 kane kara tetia hale 80 ba 70 teni ko he paba aru ketu mane mor murat dam mai gosile 
uh, so after that actually i i used to set up a target which actually uh, is uh, quite higher than what actually is uh, is my capability so for my net examination i target for 160 and i got 147.5 so uh, although uh, for jrf uh, the cutoff for jrf is uh, less than uh, 120 but you shouldn't go for 120 marks so here i'm showing you just a target of 140 marks for which you have to just do from part c 20 questions from part b 20 questions and from part a just 10 questions so you see just a 50 question right out of 120 questions you just have to attempt 50 questions that is less than 50 percent and this means that you are getting more than one option for each question so you, uh, in your msc exam or in your board exam you are not getting this much of options right so you just think that net is so much easier and this all actually depends on our thinking uh, from from the beginning actually we are uh, we are taught that need is quite difficult so we think that network ani mane syllabus to bahut dangor network ani bahut kiba kibi koriba lagbo mane net to misate badnam hoise jene ke mane we to munni badnam hoisle darling er kane he dhone mane net to student kini kane badnam hoise boli mai bhabo actually if you prepare well for the exam you prepare, if you go in the right direction then uh, then it is not that much difficult to clear net examination um, each year maybe uh, actually previously sir also showed you that uh, thousands of students can clear net examination so why you cannot right uh, you are already uh, passed like bsc exam msc exam all those exams are also tough you have to mark all those things right so if, if you can pass uh, those examination then why not just think like that way so then you will not be this uh, like depressed or you will get some motivation actually to study for ex net examination don't think that this is some uh, this is something extra that don't think that this is a uh, different examination okay just think uh janike tumalike bhaba je msc exam to my pass kori boi lagibo no hale mo rekuna hobo tenike bhaba je net exam to my pass kori boi lagibo no hale rekuna hobo and in it to tumar life or bitter ki bata boli bhabi no janike baki gita exam bhaba tenike bhabi le kyo mane uh why you cannot clear right so that is the suggestion i want to share with you i don't know uh, if you find it right or not but if uh, i personally believe it will uh, help you then comes the syllabus how to choose topics so for that you 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 just go to the previous year question paper and list out the chapters which carries the maximum number of marks for last 10 years or uh, 20 years then you, you select out the chapters which you are more comfortable. As I already told you, just for the MSc students and those things, you just remember those. Then I'll show you actually the syllabus part, uh, some example that first the inorganic chemistry, I am showing you just the adding of all the uh, topic. So there is 12 topic and uh, what I actually choose is uh, chemical bonding, 3D elements in coordination compound, F block element, organometrics, cases in clusters, bioinorganic, and spectroscopy. And one thing actually I forgot to tell that uh, while choosing topics, you you maybe you are like you are good at inorganic and physical chemistry, so the, you you just think that um, you will skip the organic part. But in that case, you just you 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 I, I want to tell you that just don't skip the whole part, okay? Uh, and if you are not good in inorganic chemistry, then also you should uh, study these four topic. These four topics, uh, these are, these are not quite uh, very tough, and from uh, it, and every year there are lots of questions from these four topics. I can guarantee you will get minimum thirty marks from these four. So just read these topics and prepare, uh, practice the questions from here. And like from the last year, maybe last two years, uh, from the main group elements also questions are coming. So you can also study that chapter also. And here is, I, I'm uh, giving you one link for chapter-wise marks distribution. 
I I thought that it will help you to save your time also. But don't believe in uh, anyone. Just cross check, and that will also make you more confidence. So go through it and things will get better. Then we'll come to the physical chemistry part. So for uh, physical chemistry also, there are twelve topics. Actually, in the syllabus you can find four parts for quantum chemistry, but uh, I just I'm showing you in a one heading. And what I actually choose was where actually quantum chemistry, group theory, chemical thermodynamics, statistical thermodynamics, electrochemistry, kinetics, solid state, and polymer chemistry. And like previously, I I said if you are not good at physical chemistry, then also you just don't skip the whole physical chemistry part. Just practice the uh, formulas and numericals from these four top uh, chapters, like electrochemistry, kinetics, solid state, and polymer chemistry. And here I can also guarantee you, you will get uh, minimum of thirty to forty marks from these four topics. Okay, just uh, write all those formulas and practice question. That uh, on, only doing that will also give you, help you. And here is the link to the chapter-wise mark distribution. For physical chemistry for NEET examination. Uh, if you are interested, you can have a look. Then comes the organic chemistry. Actually, I was not um, good in organic chemistry. I found, found these mechanisms and all, all those reactions quite tough, quite tricky. So here, from here, I choose minimum number of topics like uh, GOC, stereochemistry, aromaticity, name reaction, uh, 10 to 20 name reaction. Mm -hmm and pericyclic reactions and spectroscopy. And if you are also like me and find organic chemistry difficult, then I'll suggest you, you just study this topic uh, well, and GOC, aromaticity, pericyclic reactions and spectroscopy, okay? Uh, here also you, you can get a minimum of 16 marks from this four topic. And here is the link, you can have a look. Then comes the books, right? So what books you will study for NEET examination? Asalti ki hoi jai ki aami mene aami ki porhim bhabu te ki aamara shat actually bhoot ki taba se, right? Te ki hoi aami odik master bhabali kona ho. Mene jai ki aami bhoot ki taba bhabali saam, aamara concept mene eketa ki aami hudai khanate bisari bisari mene last time aami confused hoi jam. So be specific. Go through some, I mean, standard book or one or two books, not more than that. So for physical chemistry, you can uh, study the KL Kapoor book. Then for numerical practice, you can go through the Puri Sarma Pathania. Actually, uh, it did some concept actually in this book, contrary to the other other books, other foreign writer books. So I will not suggest you to write the whole book. Oh, sorry, read the whole book just practice the questions from here and for organic chemistry obviously cladin and characters are based book till today so from here questions are directly coming so you you, sh you must study these two books and for inorganic chemistry housecraft and who you can study for main group and clusters and coordination compounds these two books and this right uh, actually Asim Kumar does the that book actually I didn't study that time but when I after uh, when I went to IIT Kanpur there actually I saw this book and I, I brought that one so it is quite good book you, if you are in your BSc level then also you can study this one and there are maybe seven volumes it is quite uh, easily written simply written so you can go through this book and Ajay Kumar, he has actually two books. One is for coordination and one is like for organometallics and bioinorganic bio chemistry. So you, you can study those two books. Those are also very simply written and like they, they cover the, uh, the topics from various books, like from a lot, uh, lots of books written by foreign writers. So you will find these two books very easy. So before studying, Atkins book, you can go through this, this uh, such type of books. And here I am showing, sorry, here I am showing one link. You can just download some books from there. And from, uh, for NMR and spectroscopy, you can 
practice some questions from Pavia and William Kemp. Uh, there are two books for uh, one is for organic NMR and one is for inorganic. So you can study those two books and for molecular molecular spectroscopy, the Benwell book you can study. Then comes the pra uh, question practice. So uh, you, you should practice question wherever you see it, like previous year question paper. Those you can download from any site. Then comes the online mock test. Actually, what happens? Uh, online mock test will cost you maybe thousand to two two thousand rupees. Uh, there might be some free free test also. But if you are serious about net examination, then I I will uh, suggest you just go for this type of examination because that will help you mainly because uh, I don't know after actually the time uh, after 2010, I have a test paper, right? I have a test exam or question paper. I have a question in practice. I have a question in practice. I have a test paper question in the metric. I have I have a test paper in the metric. I have a test paper. To me, 60 or 70 paisa. That means you can score more than 90 percent in your SSLC exam. So this is true for this type of online mock test also. Uh, if if you cannot solve um, a lot of questions in your mock test, that doesn't mean that you cannot be able to score in your net examination also. But that will help you uh, because if you practice in this type of online mock test, nowadays that net is uh, CBT based, right? So you will uh, have some preparation with this type of online exam. So in your exam hall, it is not like you are just uh, laptop computer or computer laptop computer So online mock test will help you in that case also, right? So uh, you, you just go for some online mock test that will make you more confident and uh, in many ways that that is going to help you but one thing that don't be depressed after if you cannot take help whenever you need uh, don't hide your weaker point because uh, what actually you need is, is that uh, to make your concept clear, right? Don't think baki bere ki bhavi bo, baki bere mukha to mukha bolhi bhavi bo, haahi bo. Don't think like that way. Don't be ashamed of those type of things. Just ask question. If you cannot understand something, just ask questions to your teacher. Or if your teacher cannot an answer you, uh, then go for some like uh, online lessons. Uh, there might be might be it, it might be possible in, that you can get the answers from there. So here I am showing you some like uh, channels like chem academy and j chemistry uh, date chemistry and pulse chemistry uh, this guy actually he has created this channel uh, recently uh, he so this that channel is in sms language so you can go for that one also he is quite good uh, then comes to time management so for preparation we'll discuss first then we'll go to the uh, uh, how you will attend the question in your exam so i think uh, and i also did like for the first four months i study hard and practice questions actually i left the coaching classes without completing and i came after four months actually it was six or seven month course then uh, the next uh, one and two uh, i think november december January, yes. One, one month I actually practice uh, mock test and questions prepared in uh, home okay so I, I also I want to suggest you that for first four months you just study hard and practice the question like chapter wise question and for the last two months you just practice mock test or previous year question paper actually what happens for uh, organic particularly jitya tumal ke mane question ke ni mane chapter wise karan jitya tumar brain ke kabo jayo etu question mane ke chapter to re hai very slightly kore hoy ba korbar hoy tetia hale tumi mane hetu easily koribo par but uh, when it comes to your uh, whole paper 
that time your brain actually find it difficult to uh, detect that from where actually uh, the patient is coming right uh, what is this reason used for so for that you you have to practice uh, the whole question paper uh, you can practice in mock test also and for neat examination uh, although it is like uh, cbt based but they are not providing calculator maybe so you practice numericals without calculator okay otherwise ki hobo exam ko bila bhabiba ne agote bhabiba je e to bahut easy mane puran etia nokoru exam ko jabo but exam ki hoy bahut silly mistake koriba ba nahale ki hobo tak kore bale ala lagibo mane numericals or last step goble tumara ala lagi pele jodi nokara etia hale ko hetu bole aru and for gate examination actually all the things whatever i i discuss already those are uh, same for gate examination just only the difference is just syllabus right but one more uh, important thing for gate preparation is just you 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 should practice uh, numericals with the virtual calculator you can download it uh, on your phone and you just pre uh, practice with that virtual calculator actually i made that mistake and for that actually i i got uh, 14 marks in numericals for gate examination so i want to tell this thing to you just practice with virtual calculator okay and what we'll do before exam you will just relax okay and don't take stress and don't try to read new topics uh, you cannot complete uh, some new topics one or two days before exam so don't go for that just revise whatever you uh, you already studied or you already learned and go with those things and one important thing actually my uh, mind is your experience to pass you exam or two din by din agot jete tumi kibare bhabiba etu ps level li ei khomot tumar monale hetu hetu mane answer tu nahe tetia mane depressed na hoba je mon mari mane exam ot goi tumar thikei monot poribo ei khomot tumar brain te thik thik kaam koribo je etu khomot etu formula etu e korba lebo tetia enu kon hoy je ot ps le ne एने कोई जे तार अगर तुम्हारे ब्रेन तो एकदम पूरा गुटे सिलेबस खाने माने सेचुरेटेड होय आसे राइट एतु कने केतियाबा माने की भाल के काम न करबो पारे किंतु हेबली तुमी माने जदी पेनिक पारा तेतिया हले केतु माने एकदम भयंकर काम होबो आरो गति के डोंट बी डोंट गेट पेनिक जस्ट बी रिलैक्स एंड टेक प्रॉपर फूड एंड टेक प्रॉपर स्लीप एंड देन गो फॉर द एग्जाम now how to attempt the paper actually when i i in my time it was not cbt so i never experience this neat examination uh, in computer so what actually i did uh, for the first one and half hour i attempt part c and actually uh, people generally think that the question from part c is tougher than part b but it's not always true actually from uh, in part b also question can be tricky and uh, in part c maybe there will be some, some uh, the questions are like they combine two or three things in one question so people actually find the, those question tough but uh, for physical part like there will be like three or four formulas they will combine so if you know the formula you can do every single question there the numerical question so it not that tough so i prefer to attempt part c and i want to say that uh, from part c actually i got 100 marks the uh, 25 questions correct so it is not tough that's why i, I want to say it's not like my when u phaidang marisu so man just kobo kisu je mane questions bur part c ru man tan no hoy but what happens uh, they, uh, as you know that there are 60 questions right and you have to just attempt 25 questions so you you should read and try the question faster so that you don't miss any uh, any easy question which may be in the later part right uh, it's it, it shouldn't be like that you are wasting your uh, time trying to solve the questions from 1 to 12 20 but you don't know that in the 40 to 60 region there are the easiest question which require less uh, less time so don't waste your time on one question one single question and if if you find some questions like you you, you need some more time for calculation and those things then just um, just put some mark or since it is cbt now so in the scribble pad you just write the question number then if you get time then 
return to that question and just solve it. Okay. But while reading and trying question first, don't make any mistakes. Okay. Do it carefully and do it correctly. And in the second one hour or one point five, uh, one hour fifteen minutes, the attempt you can attempt part B questions, and at last you go to part A. When actually. Uh, we we are not prepared for the exam. But I mean, what do I do? One hour, two hours, we part eight is value, right? So, when you are well prepared for it, then you can do it. You one hour, one part six, two hours, you can hundred marks. I can assure you this thing. And uh, some important thing that don't discuss in exam. Try yourself. Uh, discussing in your in your exam will not going to help you anyway. It will just kill your time. Uh, in that time, you can uh, read or try two or three more questions. Uh, maybe you can do it correctly also. So don't discuss. And if you cannot answer the first few questions, just don't panic. Okay? For let's say part C, you are not able to uh, solve the question like 1 to 20 questions. Still, you have 40 questions, right? From the 40 questions, you just have to uh, do like 25 questions. So don't panic. And Jodi hai panic karan, titiya hai mane pora question unmari ba. Kedu kintu sure. So don't panic. Aru actually hoy ki jimane upor dekh niyo mane ek humar thodu ba hiye zay. For that, mock test will help you. Okay. So I I I will again suggest you practice some mock test paper before going to your exam. And this is the planning part. Then how we will execute those things, right? Execution and actually self-motivation both are actually uh, both are similar. I mean, uh, I'll discuss this together because without self-motivation, you cannot execute those things because uh, six months or one year is not a short period. So I'll discuss these two topics together. So first, you have to find a motivation to achieve your aspiration. What actually it means that uh, you should uh, have someone like some someone or something actually for me my family is everything and before doing anything i just think that uh, whether that will make my mom happy or not and kitani mane mor result to beya hale mai mane hora got last bye to mane hoy ki mor mai kahani mo kwana je basic marks lag lagibo jete mor school er teacher e koisle eto exam er beya hoy goise te mane koi mane ke marks fine ki koribo but i know that uh, he to just move money demotivate no corribly as in Pano Mize, my mom, this marks by Hila Bea Pai. So, Mark Dai Havislu Jemine, my G Koru Mane, Mark Happy Corribly Korin. So, you should also have someone like that. Maybe that, that will be uh, your parents or your girlfriend, boyfriend, those uh, can also be. But you should have someone or something like uh, your future. Maybe you can see your future in some position so that that can also help you to motivate yourself right so find some motivation like that way and then uh, one student maybe he asked that like, how you, you can study without getting depressed so you should have someone or something like that way which uh, thinking of which you can can motivate yourself but uh, it's obvious that you, you will get depressed right but uh, maybe I, I think that will that will help you uh, to focus on your actually on your goal then one important thing is that you, you should make your way of learning interesting uh, uh, you know that learning is quite boring thing right so to focus uh, on that for a long period of time you you have to uh, make those learning process interesting so for that you can go with the group study and discussion that can help you like uh, to save your times so, uh, it's like you, you will study one topic and your friend will study one topic and then you, you can meet in your university canteen and you can have a cup of tea and that time you can share your thoughts the so right you will uh, you, you can learn those things right uh, now in that way and you also that, that is also a refreshment for you so you, you should go this type of group study and group discussion then you, you should use colored paints or sticky notes to make your notes interesting or exciting. Actually, I red pen 
যদি মানে এক্সামত ভাবো এনেক চকুকিটা মুদি ভাবো মানে হলে বস্তুখিনি মানে যদি রেড কালারত আসলে সেইখিনি মানে চকুর আগত আঁকি যায় সেইটো কারণে মানে বহুত আগর পা মানে রেড পেনে যে দরকারি কথা হয় সেইখানে রেড পেনে লিখো বা প্রেকটিস করলেও রেড পেনে করো আর একচুয়ালি আই ফাইন্ড আই ফাউন্ড দোজ থিংস আর ইউ আর রাইটিং টু থ্রি পেজেস ইন লাইক ওয়ান কালার পেন ডু ওয়ার ব্যাক দ্যাট আই আই ফাউন্ড দোজ দোজ নোটস ভেরি ডাল সো আই ইউজ ডিফারেন্ট কালারস অফ পেন এন্ড আই ইউজ সাম স্টিকি নোটস টু আই জাস্ট স্টিক দোজ থিংস ইন দ্য পার্ট হুইচ ইজ মোর ইম্পর্টেন্ট and then when you are revising that time you will find easier to find those things right uh, otherwise you have to just uh, hey page book lukiye likhe thakba lagibo so you tumalike ki koriba para that likhi loba je sticky notes hoy eta atha thake ta tenke logai rakhiba para if you don't know that tumalike likhi loba je to eto mane it was like ba point ba kon ba reactions aur paper to upor logai rakhiba ba helo lai thakibo etia hale mane hetu basot dekhi jaba so patakke hekhan pe juliye rakhiba para right so you can try these things i i thought that it, it it will help you in some way and for practicing the reaction mechanism you can use boards actually i didn't uh, prepare for reaction mechanism so i i never use it but you can go for this one and then you should share your knowledge that is not going to decrease your knowledge but it will increase in fact it will increase your concept so discuss with your friends if she are he is uh, not able to get some topics then try to um, teach him uh, try to share with him your knowledge then uh, uh, that will help that, that will help you uh, then comes the revision part without revision actually you cannot remember a thing for uh, for a long time so here uh, this plot actually i downloaded from internet so here you can see that if you are not uh, re revise after 10 minutes your 100% that uh, knowledge is just now it is 25% you see so it is important to revise after one day one week or one month so revision is very much important and practicing which will help you to revise all those revise all those things like that way after one week or one month in that way and don't take stress and be healthy because without um, health you cannot focus on your uh, journey focus in your journey right actually moyo bahut mane ekdam strong na hoy bahut bemar azar hoye thake dor bor pote ji thabu kintu mane you should be healthy you should be fit uh, for that you, you, you can do yoga exercise and you should have proper food so and push yourself no no one is there to push you for all those things so motivation is there right inside you don't think that i cannot do it it is not tough as i already mentioned and that is just um, depend on your thinking how you are considering and actually what is your priority uh, actually when when i i said about comfort zone that is also your priority right uh, but uh, you uh, but actually you are giving more priority so you should be like mane pohat tu tumalke actually comfort bisari pabole loba lage and like push yourself still, um, be determined still determined and have confidence you all can clear net examination it's not that tough i just want to repeat and the last thing this is the last slide so actually there are two two factor uh, which is mean amak mane kibata puar para rakhai thake etu hoyse last you can see here last aru boy so jodi ami mane last no koru bhoy no koru tetia hale amar ki ase so pale love ar ekhle joy right ami mane ki hot last koru je ami question ta kori kon bhai amar friend kini bhabibo je ki kui na jane sun ba hahibo so ami question to nokhara ke thaki jao আর সেই ধরনের কোয়েশ্চন নকরাকে থাকি যাওতে যাওতে মানে বহুতখিনি কনসেপ্ট আমার নোহাকে থাকি যায় সো নজনা কথা জানবলে বা নতুন কিনা শিখবলে বা আনক সুধি পেলে শিখবলে লাজ কেউ নকরবা আর কোনবাই কিনা কব বা মূল এক্সাম বেয়া হলে কি হব এইগুলো ভয় নকরবা আর সেইটুয়ে যদি মানে সেইটা যদি করা তাহলে তোমার মানে মেইনলি ডিপ্রেশন আহে আর নকরলে মানে এবার ফেল করলো অহাবারকে পাস করিম কিনু 
থাকে আর সবতে খেলত জেনে হরা আজকে আছে एग्जाम তো আছে সো নেক্সট টাইম মানে পাইব না সো ইট ইজ থিং দ্যাট ইফ টু মানে তুমি যদি লাভ আর ভয় কাটরাই রাখা তেতিয়া হালে ইউ ক্যান গেট দিস লাভ আর জয় সো ইউর এইম শুড বি টু অ্যাচিভ ইউর গোল রাইট নাথিং নাথিং এলস ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফর ইউ সো বি স্মার্ট ইউ আর অলরেডি স্মার্ট বাট ওয়ার্ক স্মার্টলি এন্ড জাস্ট বি সাকসেসফুল ওকে ডোন্ট প্রিটেন্ড টু বি ওয়ান দ্যাট মান হ্যাভ বেটার ভাই প্রবলেম মাই মানে স্মার্ট বি হ্যাভ ফর ডোন্ট ডু দ্যাট এন্ড দিস ইজ দ্য থিং সো আই জাস্ট ওয়ান্ট টু থ্যাঙ্ক দ্য অর্গানাইজার ফর গিভিং মি দিস অপরচুনিটি টু শেয়ার মাই থটস উইথ ইউ স্টুডেন্টস এন্ড আলসো ওয়ান্ট টু থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ গাইজ অল ফর ইয়োর পেসেন্স এন্ড থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ হ্যালো ইয়া সো আই এম অডিবল Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Ishani. I'm really spellbound by your presentation. I mean, the our so our part means audience are the student, right? And you have shared like a completely the genuine feelings of the student, which as a student I also felt at some time. So thank you very much for making such a wonderful presentation and using animations, which like you have lot. Uh, our participants are praising you so much. in the chat section thank you okay so now we'll go to the question and answer question session so first we have a question from priyanka like she asks that which should be better should we grab the job after msc if we get one or prepare for net to get a better career so which should be the option so these are genuine questions from the student so you can answer them in a more proper way okay that actually depends on you right uh, what actually you you want in your life uh, most of the students actually prefer to go for a job uh, if you are getting a job uh, that is like quite well that when you see that chemist job is pretty much uh, good right you will get a uh, quite well salary so you can if you get that type of job then you can go and and as i already told you like if you are not interested in doing a uh, five or six year phd or after it you will get some job that is also not guaranteed right you, you you already know that current scenario so it's not sure that you will get uh, after phd you will get a job and i also don't know about me whether i will get any job or not but uh, in that case if you get some good job then you can go like oil jo- or oil chemist post or when to see then you can go for it but uh, if you are interested in academic line then i can i can tell you that don't go for a junior college job mm-hmm. okay uh, you, if you have to prepare if if you are not net qualified at that time then just don't think that uh, i'll go for a job in junior colleges and then i'll prepare for net examination and i will uh, get admission in some phd program don't do that that will be your biggest mistake uh, i must say uh, don't go for that one if you are interested in uh, teaching line then be pre- prepared for net examination and then do the phd that is the proper channel to okay, okay thank you so the next question is from priyanku again a very innocent question so will it work if i start for iit gem from now so uh, at which semester you are in he is probably msc second year i don't know the semester but second year oh msc second sem- uh, second year then you are oh, sorry sorry you sorry sorry to... sorry he should be bsc he has not mentioned the semester but he should be six uh, six sem or third year a bsc is a six semester and you want to prepare for gem you can do that uh, because uh, now as your classes are not uh, open so you can prepare well for your uh, gm examination and you can put uh, all your time utilize all your time for preparing for net uh, sorry gm examination so maybe it is possible it's not impossible to clear okay. gm examination just you follow the same strategy uh, like I, i told for net examination you just follow the same strategy and if your concepts are already clear your basics are clear then you can uh, if you are in also six semester already then also you can clear gm examination but if your basics are not clear then 
it is it is uh, late okay. like, like, uh, for jam you should prepare from uh, like first or second semester itself mm -hmm. okay so i'm audible right am i audible yes 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 Oh, I cannot hear you. Sorry. So the next question is, Priyanka, so she was... I'm really sorry for the network disruption. Pardon me. Okay. Okay. So the question was: Is there any coaching institute in Assam for Gate and Gate preparation? Good problem. Repeat the question. Please. Is there any coaching Hello. Hello. So Ishani, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, so so the, the, did you, you hear the question? question? No. Okay, I will repeat the question. So the question, question is, is, is there, there any coaching institute in Assam for net and gate preparation? Uh, okay, that, uh, actually I am not sure, but I, I think there is no coaching center for net or gate examination. And I don't know whether there is any in Bahati or gate, but in this site, Maybe there are no such coaching center. Okay. So next question is from Shanda Muni. She asks, so she's a uh, sixth semester student. So she's asking, like, should she start from the very basics, or should she try to find the important chapter and study those very hard? So what is like the proper way? Sixth semester means for Jain. Uh, it's common, like you not mention like particularly net or gate or gem. Okay, if you are, you are asking for net examination, then yeah, you have time. So you you you. But first, you have to um, go through the syllabus uh, because we think that um, generally after seeing the syllabus, we generally think that uh, that um, that is quite vast and uh, also it, uh, it is quite possible then that it will demotivate you. So first uh, uh, go through the syllabus and then check um, the topics which carries maximum it is. Then you check uh, whether from those topics you already learned some some topics. So then you study those things first. Okay. And the next question is, so what are the good job opportunities after MSc if you don't opt for net or gate exam? It actually quite difficult because uh, uh, I, I passed in 2017 uh, MSc and in 2016 uh, in Dibrugh University there was campus and from uh, oil and many others that came biotech or those type of uh, company but uh, when we we are actually in our third semester that time from San Pharma and maybe Dalmia was there. So there was no oil and ONG seed, that type of uh, company. So from uh, in those type of um, pharmaceutical companies and like many other companies where you can apply for some chemist post or uh, sometime quality control uh, officers like, and you can, if you want to go for some uh, like uh, for BCPL, you can apply if you are a boy, then you can apply in BCPL also or like um, oil, Julia's and Big Boy. You can do that apprentice 
training also if you are not interested in uh, net and phd then you can choose those options also and uh, you should go for some that career consultant i as, as i i don't have that much of information regarding this uh, yeah okay so next question is from shikhar jyoti medhi so he asks that uh, is it necessary for studying at ins physical chemistry book for physical section or are there any alternatives for physical uh, it's not important to uh, study actually i think uh, it's not always necessary to uh, study that at ins book maybe you will find it difficult so you can go for the kel kapoor and puri sharma patania as i already mentioned those book are also not bad because we actually think that those books actually from the foreign writers actually we we should study those books but it's it's not like that way first your basics should be clear then you, you can go for that type of book like atkins or some other macmillan or something so i'll suggest you that okay so here we end the question and answer session so ishani really thank you very much in fact i want to take suggestions from you on making such wonderful presentations thank you very much thank you so much okay so here we come to the end of our today's webinar okay so there is an like uh, some important information so tomorrow we will again meet at 10 am but participants please note that for tomorrow we will provide you a different link and that will be sent to the whatsapp Uh, group you have joined and also via email id and please uh, join before like don't uh, we will not let you admit after 10 am be there at between 9:45 to 10 am okay so thank you all for that so let see you tomorrow again thank you Thank you. 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 Thank you.